Welcome back to Cradle to Grave R. My name is Mark Jungrass. Today we're going to talk about a .git ignore file that's used with your blog down Hugo site. If you're not familiar with how to create websites from scratch using blog down in Hugo, please refer back to my tutorials on how to do that. I'll link, link them in the description. For um, a high level view of what we did was we created websites using our studio, our package called blog down, and then Hugo framework and we'd create the, the uh, entire site with the RStudio environment and the IDE using Markdown, we would serve the site so we can kind of see it visually, and then we would push it to GitHub to host the files, and then Netlify to actually host the files on the actual web. Also, Netlify will build the site from your Markdown files. So we're gonna create this .gitignore file because when you push stuff to GitHub, sometimes you don't need to push everything to GitHub for Netlify to do its job. Netlify does not ever look in your public folder because it builds these sites from scratch. It takes your markdown files and some other files that the Hugo framework has generated when you created it using RStudio blog down. It, and then if you push that to GitHub, Netlify uses that to build the public folder. Netlify will never look at the public folder in your GitHub if you set it to be a Hugo site and you set all the parameters correctly. That being said, usually when you make changes to your site, you'll see over here on the right-hand side a whole bunch of public um, files that you normally would probably check off, stage, commit, and then push to GitHub. Well, I'm telling you that it's pointless to push them to GitHub in this case. So let's start off by doing, if you don't already have this file, you would do file.create, but uh, try uh, file.edit first. Actually, before we even do that, just do get working directory, just to be sure. Make sure that you're in the directory of your project. In this case, I'm in this tour with Mark project as an example case. So I'm gonna go ahead and create, or actually edit file.edit, and we'll just type in um, dot, make sure you put the dot in there, git ignore, and it should open up. If you don't have one, it might be blank. I don't know if edit will actually create a file if it doesn't exist, but it's either file.create or file.edit, so try them out. You can see I have some things in here already. I believe that these first four um, lines have auto-generated when I created Hugo, maybe, with the blog down site, um, because you don't need all of this information to go to GitHub. A lot of it might be private, um, the R user history, you don't need you don't need any of that stuff to go to GitHub. You don't need the public to go to hit GitHub. Like I said, the public folder is never looked at by Netlify. So why why push those to GitHub and take up space and and cause you to have to click on like 15 or 20 of these uh, checkboxes? You don't need the public folder. So if I if you get rid of the public folder, and you do Command S, you'll see um, it'll show public here. It'll actually start looking in the public folder for any changes if there's a change. It'll now it'll ask you, hey, do you want to push these to GitHub? And the answer is no, I don't. So I'm just going to put that back in there. Public forward slash. You don't really need the forward slash, but I stick it in there because I know it works this way. Uh, it should work without it. It should work no problem. Um, now this HTTPR OAuth. Um, sometimes you want to store passwords, like if you want to log into some Twitter API or some other API, or if you just want to store things that you never want to. Um, well, the HTTPR OAuth. I think is where passwords are stored, but you can store them anywhere. You can store them in a, in a log password file if you want, and just never push that to GitHub. But to make sure you don't, make sure the file name is in here, you know, my password, you want Git to ignore. Don't ever accidentally push that to GitHub, because then everybody will have your password, right? Or you can have it in a folder, whatever you want to do. Uh, but So just think about that. Um, I'm going to command S on that, everything's good. So the reason that we can get away with this again is because um, Netlify will actually build the site based on the Hugo parameters you put in there. You said, hey, this is Hugo, and this is uh, version, whatever version it was, and it takes all of this markdown data and whatever data the, the um, blog down Hugo generates when you create your site, and then it actually builds it for you, hosts it for you. Again, if you want to create your own blog or basic website, static site, that can be somewhat dynamic, um, please follow my previous tutorials. They're... Uh, they have a lot of good feedback, so I believe that it's still useful and relevant, so give it a shot. And don't forget about this .gitignore file. Thanks.